<laughs> the fantasies that 13-year-olds have about what they'll do when they grow up involve everything from playing major league sports to playing in a big-time band. Bill Schechner has found one young man too busy for fantasy. He's living it. In the hallway crowd at school, there is no reason to notice Joe Bonamassa. He's simply another 13-year-old at an awkward stage uh -oh. of life. Shoot. Real. X is the problem. X. Good. Often doing well. 100. Terrific. Sometimes I, messing I up. I, no, I, had to, I had to find my report and I had to rummage through all that because I, I dropped my folder and it doesn't Just have any one more kid just until he picks up a guitar. And the boy lost in the crowd becomes the performer drawing a crowd, Smoke and Joe. I feel secure with a guitar in my hand. A lot of people say you have to say something when you play guitar. And I feel like my hands are doing the talking instead of my mouth. I feel really comfortable because I have something in my hand, you know, something I, I've always had in my hand since I can remember. Joe Bonamassa has been playing blues guitar since he was five. He's been performing in nightclubs since he was nine. 9-W-O-U-R, the rock of central New York. He's from Utica, New York, an aging upstate town that's not on anybody's list of blues roots and seldom sees a celebrity. Maybe that's changing. We've got Smoke and Joe right here with us. Welcome back. When necessary, he's Mr. Showbiz. What's coming up for you? Well, um, we're going to go out west to San Francisco. Um, we're going to do a little show with uh, John Lee Hooker. When he gets home, he turns normal which is how his parents try to treat him. Put that in your binder so you don't lose them. We still make him clean up his room. Oh, yeah. yeah we give <laughs> Take him the off the garbage. Sure. All those kinds of things. No, he's mm -hmm. not treated any differently around here. No. Because he's a star when he's out there, you know, playing. Maybe it's because there's no shortage of musicians in this family. Joey practices. Next door, his sister Lindsay practices. Even in the family archives, Bonamassas make music. Joey's great-grandfather played trumpet in a ballroom orchestra. Joey's grandfather played trumpet in a swing band. Joey's father, Lenny, played guitar in a rock group. Lenny got Joey his first guitar. I see a God-gifted talent in him. He's like an acrobat on a guitar. By the time he was, I would say, seven years old, he started walking right by me. At that age, Joey was already listening to recordings of modern blues greats like B.B. King and Stevie Ray Vaughan, recreating their work, note for note, phrase for phrase. Lenny, his first teacher, had been left behind, but Lenny was his dad. Who's the better guitar player? Well... He's been playing longer than I have, but I'm a little more technical than he is. You're being polite. Yeah. You're better. Yeah. What is it like doing something with your father, being better at it than he is? It feels good, but Daddy always encouraged me to be, become better than he was. dreamed about playing, you know, in front of five, ten thousand people in an auditorium. But I just kind of knew my, you know, my limitations as far as being a musician. I think he's living my dream. He's made me an extremely proud father. He's also totally disrupted my life. <laughs> After the first solo, after the first, I'm going right back to the A. Is that right? Several okay. days a week, amid the laundry in the Bonamassa's unfinished basement, Joey practices with the Smoke and Joe band whose members are at least two decades older than he is. They play clubs together. They perfect songs together. They rattle the windows upstairs together. Do you ever get tired of all of this? Sometimes, you know. I think I'd like to say, you know, okay, that's that. Let's take a month off. But then I'd have my son not speak to me probably for a month. Department of Labor, can I help you? They've had to make some choices. Right. Joey's mother, Deborah, works in a New York State office. 
His dad passed up a better job to have more time for Joey's music. Launching a career is expensive. It's almost a full-time job. From 4 o'clock on when I get out of work. Basically, right now, we don't have a social life. We've given up all of our weekends. Uh, our bank or, account yeah. is dwindling yeah. extremely fast. But I also believe in his talent. You know, I, I think people should see this boy play. It's something else. What do you hope will happen in your life? You know, to basically become big in, uh, in the music business. Job, save. One question remains. If big trouble in Joey's life means lost school papers or being put on a diet by his mom, if he hasn't yet had a date, much less a broken heart, it seems like he's never really had the blues. So, can he really play them? Bluesman B.B. King has been playing this music most of his life. He's seen Joey perform. Here's what he says. Playing blues music, it's timing. You don't always know where the children get this from. You don't really know. But all I know is he got it. I think that's the best I can say. He does have it. Try to find my baby. I ain't got no friend. Agreement from another blues star, John Lee Hooker. Recently, Joey shared the stage with him in San Francisco. Cook, cook. He's really, really very, very good, but he got a lot of techniques to learn. Uh, so he, it's a 13 years old, what can you expect? You know? He's fantastic good, he's fantastic. <laughs> Sixty years separate them, six guitar strings connect them to each other, to a unique tradition. Sometimes it gets that way where I think, this is not happening to me. I'm just a kid from Yorkville, New York. Then uh, I finally realized that I was up there playing the legend. Oh, what a kid. What a kid.